So, as I said earlier in my previous video, I was talking about how I bought three animals yesterday at the uh, Denver Reptile Expo, this being one of them. And look at him, or her. Um, neither one of my snakes, I know their gender. I don't know their gender. They're both old enough to. Um, when I was at the show yesterday, I saw a guy probe one of his own snakes that was like the size of my king snake when I got him. And he was able to tell the gender. I didn't know you could tell. I thought you had to wait till they were like maybe the size of this guy, like a year or so. But, uh, whatever. I think he might be a year, year and a half. He's way bigger than we thought <laughs> when we bought him. He was crunched up in a little deli cup, small as hell, all curled up. Everglades rat snake. Like, oh yeah, he's cute. He's a little bit bigger than our king snake. Let's get him. Put him out. Got him last night. I got a video. Maybe I'll post that later. Him soaking in a five gallon bucket right away and drinking, drinking a shitload of water. And, uh, you're just amazed at how long he was. He's like two feet five inches. That's a long snake. But he's awesome. You can see him. He's nice orange, orangish brown, rustic kind of red color. See him sitting there. I made his hide earlier. I put him in this kind of cage set up just for now. It's just temporary, guys. I know it's too small for a snake that big, but it's probably way better than he had at the pet shop. And yeah so it's actually the same pet shop that i got my female tortoise and my marbled salamanders it was just i didn't go to the shop i got it at their uh booth at the show but you see i got like some basic kind of potting soil there on the bottom it's all natural no chemicals or anything in it it's just like moss bark yada yada and then i put some uh snake bedding over top i got his tube hide there he doesn't use it He's been drinking a little bit of water. I use this compartmentalized tray. I put the frozen uh, fuzzy thought on the other side. It works awesome. That way it doesn't get impaction from any substrate. I really recommend that kind of style. If you don't want to feed in a separate enclosure, like I feed a king snake in a separate enclosure, him, I'm thinking about just trying doing it this way. Um, not that I'm not gonna handle them and stuff. I already handled them once yesterday. He was pretty chill. But I'm not going to handle him again for a couple days, just to let him get used to his cage. As you can see, he's obviously loving it. Um, I took the mat from King, the heat mat. I'm going to replace his tomorrow, go to Petco after work. But, uh, yeah, after he ate that fuzzy, he just fast a little bit. And then on top of his hide there, I had the basking light over there, then I moved it. And now I just got like a cool, cool light on top. But uh, there's a heat mat under there. That's like a candy jar I had. I kind of buried kind of in the substrate a little bit. Some Timothy hay in there. Just kind of let them ray on it so it's not so hot. It's not laying directly on the hot glass. The Timothy hay is like a nice insulator. And I covered it on the outside of the cardboard so he feels, feels secure. Um, but yeah, I think he likes it. Um, absolute awesome snake. I got him for 40 bucks. So you heard me talking about the deal I got on Craigslist on birds earlier today in a cage. Well, I got this snake for 40 bucks, dude. Everglades rat snake. Two feet long, probably a nice year lean, year and a half. Beautiful snake. Maybe two years at the absolute most. Beautiful snake. So, yeah. Really happy about that. Um, what I'm going to do, I hear me talking about Craigslist earlier, I'm basically just going to keep paying attention to Craigslist over the next couple of days, weeks, and uh, wait until I got enough, a little bit saved up, and buy maybe a, you know, drop a couple hundred on a cage on Craigslist and supplies that would otherwise be worth 500 if you bought it at the store, or something like that, you know, try to come up on a huge, great setup for him. So I'll keep you posted on that, and uh, that's it for now on him.